Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Now this video is just going to be a little bit of motivation just in order to tell you to go and tell those people that you know and that you truly love that you do love them. Sometimes life can come hard. Life can just hit you in the face and you, you, you might not even be ready for it. But it is there. You have to appreciate the bad in order to have the good. It's yin and yang. There's good, there's bad. There's light, there's dark. Accept the bad things. Appreciate the good things. Want for the good things, but don't let the bad times truly drag you down. If you can be happy in the bad times, and that doesn't mean you can't cry, that doesn't mean you can't feel upset, that doesn't mean you can't have an off day, that just means happy the majority of the time. There's days that sometimes you just feel like there's nothing that you want to do or can do. And I've had that before, I have that, I do have that still. I have it often. Not, not as often as I used to, because I'm controlling it. I used to have that quite a lot. When I realised how to control it, and the only way that I could control it was by realising where and what I want to do in life. When you wake up with a purpose, you will wake up. If you struggle to wake up at five in the morning, think about Christmas Day. How do you wake up when, you, when you're young? I remember when I was young, I would wake up at three, four, five, six, seven, every hour, run into my mum and dad's room asking to open my presents because I was so excited, because I was unexpected what was gonna happen. I knew something good was gonna happen, but I was unexpected what was gonna happen. If you wake up with that much purpose every single day, your life will be amazing. Don't let fear of saying something stop you from saying something to someone. People deserve love. You deserve love. Show your love to everyone. Show your kindness to everyone. Show your happiness to everyone. Bring positivity into people's lives. If they're having a bad day, be the light in their day. If they feel like they can't move, just be there for them. You don't have to do the most extraordinary things. Just being there talking and telling them how much you appreciate and care for them will be enough. That's what it starts with. Over time you can help them, you can help them get help, you can help them get therapy, you can help them with whatever it is, but don't wait until it's too late. Sometimes a smile can save a life. And there's a story of a guy, most inspiring story, where he just was a light, he was just a beam of light, of energy, and he got on the bus with his parents and he had a form of dwarfism. And he was, he was obviously very small and this is when he was a child. People used to take the piss out of him and people used to laugh at him and stuff like that. And when he had the chance, he went on a bus and the bus driver said that this kid just smiled at him all day, all, all day, while he was on that bus. He just smiled at him and he just brought positivity into his day. He was asking him questions and he just was the light in his day. After that bus journey, the bus driver went up to the parents and said, your kid just saved my life. Why? Because he told me that I need to be happier or how happy he was. He brought light, he brought positivity into my day, and after this bus journey, this was gonna be my last one and I was gonna go and kill myself. So you don't understand how much a smile, how much some words can really impact someone. So less of the hate, more of the love. Less of the bullying, more of the gratitude towards people. If you see someone being bullied, help them out. That doesn't mean you have to physically fight for them. That sometimes that could just mean pulling them away and telling them how much you appreciate them, or telling them how amazing they really are. So don't leave it too late. The worst fear, the feeling you could ever feel is regret. Don't feel regret, just do it. Ask yourself, what if I don't do it? But then always ask yourself after, what if I do do it? What great can come out of it? So you've got the bad, what, what could go bad? Be realistic. If you ask someone on a date and they say no, what's the worst thing that can happen? No, it's not that bad, it's really not that bad. But what's the best thing that can happen? If you can see that best thing, you can live a great life. So don't regret, don't hate, appreciate. So I hope you like this video, and this video is in tribute to my dog, Rossi, the man, the silly disobedient dog, but the man. And I'm gonna do a little, little montage of him now. Have an amazing day, keep smiling and spreading positivity.
Oh, my God.